I mean, I, I thought it was fake. I, I couldn't believe the news, but I searched it up and I saw on CNN that it was real. He died in 95. I was actually kind of distraught because I'm a really huge Marvel fan. And I was sitting in the lunchroom and I low-key cried a little bit, not gonna lie. And it was just a heartbreak because he was such a legend. Well, I mean, I was pretty bummed out. Um, I mean, whenever you hear about a celebrity that you really liked, you know, and he, like they died, you just sit there for a second. And you're just like, really? It, it happened. So when I first heard of Stanley's death, I was first very sad because Stanley is somebody who always helped uh, make make you laugh. He was always a I always enjoyed his cameos in all the Marvel movies, and he was just such a great guy overall. He impacted the lives of pretty much every high schooler. A lot of people grew up with the stuff he made. Yeah. I grew up watching Marvel since I believe in diapers with my dad and. It was a huge part of my childhood, just watching the movies every time they came out and just trying to be like them because they're just great characters. So there are many characters that of Stanley that have affected my childhood, but the main way that they've affected my childhood is that they taught me that no matter how no matter like how you come up or what your past is, you can always put that behind you and become a better person. And you could always start from nothing and become somebody of power. I always just liked watching all these, you know, amazing superheroes, you know, be on TV and, you know, Stanley, um, he, you know, wrote about all of those different characters and he created them and I think that without, you know, Stanley making all those characters, my childhood would have been a lot duller and just not as filled with fun.